All right, guys, this is part two. I'm going to talk for 30 minutes, guys, and I'll complete the video here. And I'll watch my amazing video before you guys. And after I watch my videos, I'm going to go to bed and sleep. Because I have, I have, a, stupid, I have a stupid doctor's appointment at 1 o'clock. I hate doctor's appointments. They're really annoying. When you have to wait for like an hour, it's annoying. But I have to go because my, my, my step-parents want me to go because of my blood sugar. Right? Get it over with. Now, when I, when I come back home, I'll make a video in the evening around 5. Is it evening 5 or 6? I believe it's 5 o'clock in the evening, right? Or it's 6 o'clock. I don't know. Make it at 5 o'clock in the afternoon or the evening, right? Whatever it is. And all my stars will be, will be will gladly... Yeah, I'm more than happy to, I'm more than happy to be involved in the game. That's fucking cool. You're making a game, Ivan? I'm like, yeah, I'm making a game. How much are you making it for? Yeah, I'm making it for like four six million dollars. Like, holy shit. Unreal Engine 5 Technology. I'm like, yeah, period. He's like, holy shit, Ivan, you're making a game, huh? Like my Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, I remember back in the day, they, 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 they you know what I'm saying? We, uh, when the Lord of the Rings games came out, yeah. I'm also going to make a Xanus game too, but the Xanus game will blow Lord of the Rings games out of the water. Because you look, by then you're looking at PS6 technology, and I'm making an Unreal Engine 5 technology. There's something crazy, yeah, man. Ivan, will the game be similar to the movie? The game will be... I'm going to tell the guys, look, man, there's nothing wrong with adding a lot of things in the game, but follow the DNA of the story. You know how, like, Lord of the Rings, the games are nothing like the movies, obviously, but they were faithful to the DNA of the story. So as long as you're faithful to the DNA of the story, follow the story, but there's nothing wrong with adding a lot of things, adding more action sequences and all stuff and all these missions to make it more interesting, obviously, with all the characters. So add a bunch of stuff to make it more interesting, but follow the DNA of the story. Is that right? Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. Add some scenes with young Tactius. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the the, the, the kid actors for Tacitonius and Tactius and all of them, those actors, I'm also going to sign them for the game too. I'll sign them to like a one, like, I don't know, $50,000 deal for the game, $100,000 deal for the game. That's good. That's a good deal for the kid actors. And have them be part of the game too. Because I'm going to, okay, guys, even though you're going to play, as, you're going to play as all these different characters and you're going to add a bunch of stuff, follow the story. Start it off with the prologue. You have the story of Tactius the first, like Assassin's Creed. You have the story of, story of that guy's father, obviously, and you transfer it to young Tactius when he's a kid, and you transfer it to later on when I'm older. But you can, but you can add a lot of things in the game to make it more interesting, obviously, for the players, obviously, right? You can do that. Oh, so let's talk about the movie. So Zayas, I'll make it for $985 million based off my amazing fantasy novel that I wrote. Almost done, guys. I am now three, like, 13 pages into the into the book. And it's 444 pages long. So I'm pushing almost 100. I have about a, almost... Um, once I hit 340 pages, I'll have a 100 pages left. So I'll be done the book in, like, ne end of February next year around there. Perhaps mid-March, I'll be done editing my whole book. And I have to go over it again for typos and that kind of stuff again, obviously. And once that's over with, all I have to do is just get it copyrighted, and my book is now ready to be. Used. I can the, the, the Lulu company can easily form my book my book for me. So so so, but the, I have to get it copyrighted. It's already copyrighted because my set prints are crazy. You need to get it officially copyrighted. Okay, fine. I have to get it copyrighted. Hence, twenty twenty four should be the year, guys. I I pay the fee, man. You know, take me for granted, man. Because my step parents told me they're going to retire in like two years. So they're like, yeah, they're like, yeah, you have two years, Ivan, and two years I want you out of the house. Because I'm getting old now. I'm 30 years old now. By 30 years, by, by now I should have my own place and everything. And because they lock the doors on me, I'm a bum. Collecting welfare checks, sitting in my basement, obviously. But, but right now I should be successful. I should be a billionaire. So it's their fault that I'm that, 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 that they lock the doors on me, man. And that's why I'm very serious with my book, obviously. It's my last hope, obviously. Obviously, right? Yeah, guys, 2024 should be the year I pay the fee, or perhaps 2025. There might be a bit of a delay, but 2024 or 2025 will be the year I pay the fee, man. And you guys know, once they sit me upstairs, you now know uh, Ivan's soon going to be king, man. And once I'm king, it is the end of the world, man. It's the end of the world. 
all these businesses are going to have to charge more money because they're not a side tension, yes. All these YouTubers are all not a side tension. Don't hate me. Even guys like John Canopy, Robert Mayer Burnett, Neil Tooze, don't hate me, guys. Midnight Edge are now, they're now, they're now, they're now all the side tension once I'm king. <laughs> they're all going to like shit. Critical Drinker is a big YouTuber. Star Wars Theory, they all have millions of followers, man. They're, they're big people. John Campy is big. He has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. Robert, Burnett, Robert May Burnett has 50,000 subscribers. They're all big people. Overlord DVD has three, almost 300,000 subscribers. They're all really, really popular people, obviously. But once I'm king, they're what? They're, they're, they're now the side attention. Will people still watch their stuff? Yes, those, their fans will still watch their stuff, but they're now the side attention. While they do their videos... There are videos on YouTube, obviously, and they post it. While that's going on, I even read your trend online. There's a side tension now. So those very same fans who are tuning into their stuff are now to, are, are, all, are also they're sidetracked. They're tuning in to, 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 to what? I and VJ's trends every day. And so they all feel like shit. And those those very same YouTubers all want to look at my trends too, obviously. Once their show is done, they're all, oh, man, they want to look at my trends. Fuck, man, I feel like total shit. My career feels worthless now. Yeah. It's not worthless, but it feels worthless. I'm saying, yeah, man, you will get what you deserve. You want to cause mess in my life and kill you, my wife, and have me cry every two years. That's what I'm kidding. You're left behind. You're not safe. You pay a price, too. Yeah, it's fair. Ivan, how bad? They're going to feel like total shit. They're all going to wish they can work for me. I wish I could just work for Ivan instead of doing this fucking YouTube thing now. My career feels worthless, man. Yeah. All the Hollywood celebrities are careers are worthless, too. Once I start Sky Shows, right, they're all going to feel like total shit. There's a side tension now. While they do their Comic Con for the television show and the movies, uh, I and VJ are trying online. They're trying online with, with the actors for Xanus. You know what I'm saying? I and VJ, I and VJ's first trailer just dropped for the documentary. Their magazine attributes are featured on the website. Their news is featured on the website. They're all, they're all, they all feel like shit. Yeah, look at Ivan now. He's a movie star. Yeah. He's featured on the magazine as his wife. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The, the first Xanus trailer dropped. And, you know, and while, that, while that trailer dropped, the trailers of their movies dropped. But Ivan Vijay's trailer is the main, is the main, is the, is, 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 is the main event, obviously. And everyone's stoked to see that Zayn's movie and that Zayn's documentary. And you also have the, the, the trailer for the game, too. <laughs> yeah. So you have a trailer for the game, which will build buzz. You have a trailer, if I do the game right, and you have a trailer for the documentary, the trailer of the movie. That doesn't mean crazy, man. Yeah, man. You're often like shit, yeah, man. Yeah. They're all going to feel like shit, obviously. And you, they get what they deserve. Those, those YouTubers and New World, you get what you deserve. You chose to do this to me, hence why I'm kidding. You're left behind. You pay a price. You're not saved. You're not saved by God. You're back from the way of God. You're not saved. That's what I'm saying here. You're not saved. So I'll make Zanes, going back to Zanes, so I'll make Zanes for $985 million. Or I might make it for a billion. I can make it for a bit more. Make Put a billion dollars towards it. Nine, I'll put $985 million minimum, and I'll, I'll, I'll not go any higher than a billion for, 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 for the movie. 985 is enough. Put $985 million also towards the movie. And that'll be used to pay all the actors and crew and their salary and fund the entire project. You guys already know what, what stuff I need to fund, obviously. The camera, CGI technology, costumes, armor, weapons, machine for the mask, 2,000 euro, 300 gas, the hotel party, red carpet event, the flights, the hotel stays, the magazine ad shoot pictures, obviously, like the, the renting the photography studio, the photography studio equipment, the photography cameras, you know what I'm saying, the IMS cameras, paying the pilots, trailers, portable bathrooms, portable showers, portable laundry machines, shampoo, body wash, the pavilion tents, the kitchen equipment, the luxury buffet, the food. All going towards the budget, obviously. The ten million dollar budget for the dock. All going towards it. I'm saying. And my two top candidates to direct my Zanes movie are Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. I'm gonna have those two guys compete for the job. I'm gonna have Peter and Mel Gibson compete for the job, obviously. And I'll pay Peter his five hundred million. I'll pay Mel his like two. His two like I don't know his two. I'll pay Mel his two like twenty eight million dollars. So I mail to a, one, a flat one eighty million dollar deal, 
and a $58 million side. That's good enough for him. I'm not going to pay him two way. He's ripped me off. I'm being far too generous. What even else is good enough for Mel Gibson? He's, his, his net worth is a portion of Peter's. So pay him like more, less than half of what Peter's making. Then Peter, you pay him $85 million and pay him a nice like $450 million of royalties. Or give him 0 0.6 and you give Mel Gibson 0 0.4. Chances are Peter and Mel will tell me, I even just give me the flat amount. That way they know they're going to make their guaranteed money, obviously. Ivan, just pay me the flat four fifteen million million. I told you, because Peter's greedy, he might ask for, like, Ivan, just pay me a flat, like, $700 million or always. I'm like, no, Peter. I'm not going to pay you that. If I do, you're affecting my 1%. Stop being greedy. No, but Ivan, you're greedy, too. You're taking all this blame for yourself. Yes, I'm a son of God of advocates. I'm worth the money. This is my money. The whole was one crazy because they wanted to see me. It's not, it's, it's not mainly about you. You'll build some buzz, Peter, because you're a big director. You direct uh, Lord of the Rings. Directed by Peter Jackson, the mastermind behind Lord of the Rings. You'll build buzz, obviously. But yeah, they, the world's going crazy because they want to see me meet you. I'm saying, they want to see me and my wife, obviously. Yeah. So I'll pay Peter's ten more side bonus for pre-production. Let's say if I choose Peter Jackson, I'll pay him his ten million sign bonus for pre-production. Which is a good deal. It's a good, I don't know, that's like 13 million New Zealand money. He'll make a good 6.8 million in his bank after taxes and, and his agent. It's a nice page for Peter. And he'll help me make the calls for the main nine things, help me sign the contracts, help me co write the script, consult with the seven team a little bit, do the cons arts with me, take his notes. I also want Peter what? I also, we're also going to have to go over the script like a couple times with potential uh, small rewrites. That way, we, that way we know we now we wrote a, that way we wrote an amazing script obviously that way we make sure we wrote a, we write a good script obviously which we will. He might tell me I have, we don't need to go over it again. The script is the script is amazing. It's a masterpiece. Ivan, I wrote the Hobbit. I wrote Lord of the Rings. This is just as good as those scripts, Ivan. You know, so I'm like Peter. We need to go. Don't be lazy. I don't pay you ten million for nothing. We need to go. This is serious shit. We need to go over uh, the script at least a good two more times. So once I finish writing the script, I'll go over the script with Peter. We're going to a tour of my two scripts of Arbor's my wife. We're going to be in the boardroom of the car and we're going to go over the script every afternoon. That way you put Peter to work. I don't pay you for nothing. I'm going to put you to work. We go over the script every day. And then once we go over the second time, we go over it again the third time. That way we make sure you're ready to go. So after three times, we, 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 we'll stop going over. Okay, guys, we did three drafts. This is enough. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that once, it, once the sacred script is now completed, obviously, you can have your two scripts of Arbor's now print out your scripts. So I'll put John Farrell in the envelope. Okay, guys, you guys are going to have to do this dirty work. You're going to have to go in your office and print out, like I don't know, 40, 40 like 400, 450 page scripts before the actors arrive the second year. As when the actors arrive, you're, 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 we need to give them a copy of the script. Once they sign the contracts and they're happy, I take them outside and say, you need to, you're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give the actors their scripts. So every time that the pilot goes to go pick up the 10 actors in like America, whatever it is, you put like the 10, 11 scripts in the plane. And you tell the actors' agents to leave the scripts in the plane, and that way they don't forget. Because once you, when you party up and you're drunk, you can forget your scripts. Leave it on the plane, guys. When you, when, so whenever the actors arrive, or, 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 or when, whenever the jet picks up the actors, the actors will see their scripts on on, on their seats. And then my secretaries will tell, okay, tell the agents to, to, for that, yeah, tell the actors to leave their scripts on the plane, as I don't want, I don't want the actors losing their script, and I don't want that shit getting leaked, man. Because your scripts can get leaked. I don't want my script getting leaked, man. If you give an actor an online copy of the script, they can get leaked. There's hackers out there who can leak it, obviously. Some members in their family can leak it. They can, oh, I want to see the script. I'm saying they can, they can read it. That's hence why. And there's nothing worse than giving an actor an online copy of the script, obviously. And he has to print out the whole 400-page script. No. Give them a hard copy of the script. It's very unprofessional to give them an online copy of the script. No. Give them a hard copy of the script. The sacred script, is there. So Peter will help me make the calls for the main nine things. For the Burgeon Dark Resort Hotel Party, two-day party, and the Red Carpet event. So I'm going to host the Red Carpet event at the Burgeon Dark Resort, and I'll give Burgeon Dark, Burgeon Dark a good $10.1 million for the deal. I am not going... If they want $20 million, my guys, you're ripping me off. I'm not going to give you $20 million. You're affecting my budget. There's other things I want to put towards the movie. $10 million is good enough. I'm literally speaking, I should give you half. I should give you $5 million for this deal. I'm willing to give you 10 This is good enough. And I want billboards around the hotel for the red carpet. I want a nice red carpet, barricades. I want you to hire like 13, 40 photographers to take pictures of my photographers. Make sure you rent the cameras. Top quality cameras for the pictures, yes. I need you to hire security guards. I want all you can drink alcohol for the two-day party. 
I want DJs. I want security guards. I want no one sneaks into the party. If you don't have security guards, some people will try and sneak into the party. It's VIP only for me, the cast, and the entire crew, isn't there? You're looking at an unheard of party, but a crazy wild party, man. Yeah. Inside and out party. <laughs> Something crazy. And a luxury hotel. That's a nice perk, man. People are drinking in the pool area. They're drinking outside. It's crazy. It's wild. The DJ's blasting music. It's a crazy party, man. I will, 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 will it be a part? It's not going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to be, a, it's not going to be what? I'm not going to have some, 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 some professional party where everyone wears suits. No. Everyone wears their like street beach clothes and they party it up while party inside and out. Yeah. I could have a more professional party where everyone just has suits, they drink wine, they hang out, no, but that's a, that's more boring. No, have a wall party where you have like two DJs, they blast music, everyone's dancing, people are making out, something crazy, man, yeah. Something crazy, yeah, man. That's why they're all going to beg, because Hollywood's not going to do that, obviously. So, Hollywood, people will be like, Shock, Ivan, you're going to rent this hotel? But like, yeah, Peter's holy shit, I mean, that's beautiful. That's a luxury hotel. That's top. That's high tech. That's high end, man. Yeah, Peter. Don't, holy shit, your company blows Hollywood out of the water. Yes, Peter, it does. It blows Hollywood out of the water. And then Peter will help me make the calls for the IMS cameras. I'm going to rent a good 10, 11 cameras. That's enough. IMS cameras, I went online. IMS cameras are, 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 are what? Are so, are, are, are cost 16000 a week to rent. So if I rent it for, for, for one year, for, if, I, if I rent it for one year, obviously, it's, the IMS cameras are going to cost me like, like $8 million, $9 million bucks, man. It's fucking pricey, man. If I want to rent 10 cameras... If I want to rent ten cameras. Obviously, it's going to cost me like eight, eight, nine million bucks to rent to rent to rent like ten cameras. Hence, why I'm not going to rent twenty. Otherwise, it's going to cost me like twenty million bucks. It's a big con the budget. Peter, is ten cameras of Ivan tens enough? Yeah, I'll rent ten. It'll cost me a good nine million bucks around there, eight million bucks. It's expensive, man. It's pricey. Sixteen thousand a week it costs just to rent one IMS camera, man. And IMS cameras, you can't buy them. You can only rent them. They're such rare cameras. You can only rent them. You can't buy them. I checked on Google. You can't buy them. You can only rent them. That's why I'm going to have to rent 10 IMS cameras. And I'm going to update the cameras with lenses and, and speakers for better sound and vision, obviously, and focus. And then the equipment for the cameras will cost me a couple hundred grand. Maybe 500, 800 grand for all the equipment for the cameras. The drones, the camera stand, the camera moving stands, the gliding equipment, all that stuff, the lighting and the speakers. That will cost me maybe 500, 400, 800 grand. Not that expensive. Because the cameras are going to cost me millions. Yo, Ivan, if you want to rent like 10 IMS cameras, that's going to cost you millions, Ivan. It's going to cost you like 8 million bucks. Yeah. Yo, Ivan, Hollywood can't afford to rent 8 million, uh, eight, 10 ca IMS cameras. That's like big con on a 100 million hour budget, Ivan. But yeah, it is. Because I have a big 9 million budget, I can easily afford it, obviously. So, how about make the calls for what? So, how about make the calls for the CGI technology software? People ask me, Ivan, how much money are you putting towards CGI, by the way? I don't know, Peter. I'm putting four, like, Four hundred to four three million dollars. Four hundred to four three million dollars. Ivan, look at a revolutionization of technology, Ivan. This is unheard of, Ivan. Yeah, it's unheard of. It's unheard of, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at a revolutionary technology, uh, Ivan. Yeah, Ivan. Like, I, we only put like thirty million dollars towards towards what? We only put thirty million dollars. We only put thirty million dollars towards what? We only put thirty million dollars towards what? Towards like special effects for Lord of the Rings. You got a world like that. You're looking at like a, a world better than Pandora. Yeah, remember that those two, those two pictures I posted? Yeah, think of a world like that. Beautiful, looks natural, but it also looks very amazing. Like Lion King, right? But it's, it's a beautiful fantasy world. The South, the Mystic Valley, look at an amazing world. The Southern Gates Mountains, the Green Mossy Mountains. Yeah, the waterfall. The world looks very advanced, but it looks more natural. Look at an amazing movie. Better than Pandora. Action sequences is better than the Helmsley War. Think of that. And think of uh, beings three times scarier than the Orc High, the Ring Race, Pennywise the Clown, and all these horror movies that came out. Like The Conjuring. Remember that devil being in Annabelle? That all you guys just saw the movie. That devil being was creepy. Man. I remember I saw in theaters that gave me the bejesus. Well, think of demons three times scarier than that. They're all demons and devils. I mean, you're looking at demons and devils. I mean, with, 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 with $400 worth of special Ivan. Like the most horrific beings in movie history. 
Ivan, Eretai will be the most horrific being in movie history. He'll make Thanos look good, Ivan. He'll make he'll make my Orc High and Remakes look good. Yeah. Yeah, man. He'll make Pennywise a clown. Pennywise, Pennywise a clown was creepy. He'll make Pennywise a clown look good. Yeah, man. Look at the devil himself. That's why his name is about crazy old white buzz. Yeah, man. He'll be shocked. Peter will have that shock factor in his face. Holy shit, Ivan. Your company blows high out of the water. Yeah. Peter will also have to make the calls for the costumes. For the sewing machine equipment for create custom making all the costumes. We'll make the calls for that. We'll make the calls for the what? For the what? For the, for, 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 for the tools to create the arm and weapons for White Workshop. Make the calls for that. Best tools we can, we can, we can make the calls for. Right? We can create the best weapons and armor for, for the army and, and all, the, all, all the actors who are fighting in the movie, obviously. And what? And it'll help me make the calls for the, mach the machines for creating the 3D prosthetic print mask. My Peter, I don't want I don't want the kind of mask that, that your actors wore in in Lord of the Rings. They look, otherwise, the horse will look a bit the, the wolves will look a bit cheesy in the bats. No, I want a more professional mask. I had to help me an animal. We, I rent the best I, I rent the best machines for printing all all, all 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 those demonic masks for all the animal characters who are in who are in the movie, obviously, as well as all the extras. Because you have the wolf extra army, the civilians. You also have the bats. So you need to create th tens of thousands of masks. Hey, Ivan, if you want to create 10,000 masks, you're going to have to rent, like, a couple of machines for that. Yeah, I rent a good, like, five, six machines. That could print a good, like, 60 to, like, 100 masks a day. Hence why you need the people who are going to, who are going to oversee the mask, obviously. Have them start working on the mask early second year. Sign those guys the first year. Have them start working on the mask in Switzerland the first year. Rent out a, rent out a facility and have them start working on the mask the, the, the second year. If you give them two years, it's more enough time for them to create... To create tens of thousands of masks. They're going to have to get... You have the 25,000 wolf army. You also have... You have like five to 10,000 civilian wolves. And you have 2,000 bats. So they're going to have to create a good what? 30, like, I don't know, 33, 34, 35,000 masks, man. Which they can pull off in two years. If you if you can print a good 80 masks a day, you're, you're going to have to hire... I'm going to, I'm going to have to hire a good, like, you know, 80 team. I don't know, an 80 team for... Something, a big team for that. Yeah, Ivan, you're going to have to hire a big, like, 80-team 80, 80 crew for that. 70-80-team crew for that. 60-80-team crew for that. To, to print all those masks, yeah. And one day, yeah, you have to have them work all day, seven days a week. If they can print a good, like, 80, 60, 50 to 50 masks in a day, 40, 50 masks a day, in two years, you can pull off making your 34,000 masks for all the, the demonic characters. The wolves and the bats. That's going to be amazing, yeah, man. And it'll help me make the calls for the what? For the kitchen equipment and the food. So we'll call the best farms in Swiss and we'll buy all the food. The vending machines, for the soft drinks and the milkshake, the coffee, the tea, and, and, and the French meal. Peter will help me make those calls. You know, I'm more than happy to help you. And I'm saying, I, what, what are you thinking of serving the crew, by the way? I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'm thinking of serving them this. It's like, holy shit, Ivan. Your company bowls out of the water. Hollywood serves us cheaper food. You're serving them a luxurious buffet? Yeah, for... So you want, like, breakfast, dinner, and dessert? Oh, my God, Peter, breakfast, dinner, and dessert. Ivan, you're spoiling the actors in the crewmen. They're gonna work harder for you. Yeah, they're gonna work hard for me. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna have three beers every Friday. Every oh, oh yeah oh so three beers yeah every Friday is beer day. The entire cast and crew get their three beers. So Peter, what I want to do is every Friday we give the actors a break. They only film for I give I give you and the actors a break. We only film for a good six seven hours, and then we get the rest of the day off. The actors can chill. They can get more sleep, and they get their three beers. Ivan, that's cool. Beer day. Oh, like, yeah, Peter, beer day. Yeah, Ivan, that's cool. If you do that for the actors, you're going to brighten up the experience. Yes. Yeah, Ivan, it's not fun working for one year in the middle of nowhere, man, in the wilderness. It's not fun. Brighten up the mood. Yes, brighten up the mood for the actors. It's not fun working for 14 hours a day. So every Friday, I'll, get, I'll only film for maybe seven, eight hours, and you give the actors more, more time off to sleep, and you give them three beers on, on Friday, as well as a crewman. That way you give them a good experience. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to go get some water. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? That's what my scotch is going to go blow out of the water, man. We the best brand here in the industry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sooner we don't wake, guys. Don't hate me, you know what I'm
Alrighty, sorry for the wait, guys. If you hear the noise, you gotta excuse the noise. It's windy outside, so you might hear a bit of noise. Obviously. You gotta excuse the noise, man. Bear with me, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's why my Skyscraper's coffee will blow Hollywood out of the water, man. <laughs> It'll blow it out of the water, man. My Grand Missile property, the actors get flown exclusively on my private jet, my 300 million dollar jet. I'm spoiling them, yeah. All the parties in my 300 million dollar condo, my yacht, Tabor's in my yacht, yeah, man. That's why Peter will have that smile on his face. And don't forget, the doc crew will be filming all this. Filming all the pre-production with the independent movie cameras. Peter will ask me, Ivan, how much money Ivan, how much money are you putting towards your doc, by the way? Yeah, Peter, you want to know? Yeah, Ivan. 10 million bucks. Like, 10 million bucks for a doc? Holy shit, for Lord of the Rings, you only had like a $50, $100,000 budget. Ivan, you're looking like an independent movie for your doc. With like, yeah, with slow motion, special effects, nice music. Yeah, you're looking at an amazing documentary, man. Are we filming pre-production? Production, uh, post-production, as well as the red carpet. So I'll end off my documentary with a like a like, like with the red carpet. So you're gonna see the behind the scenes of the red carpet. Obviously, me and VJ featured in the red carpet with Peter and all the all my stars. I mean, look at some the crazy fans. That's something crazy. That's what I'm calling with the best brand in the nation. Yeah, man. Obviously, and Peter will have that smile on his face. Because I gave him on the budget. Yo, I even fuck Hollywood, man. I'm going to work harder for you. You pay me way more money. Double what I made for Lord of the Rings. You gave my freedom. And you were giving all these nice perks. And you, you know what I'm saying? And what? And you gave me an unlimited budget. Whereas Hollywood fucking gave me. A, they're cheap. They gave me a 90 shitty even our budget. Yeah. So I, I mean, for Lord of the Rings, you had no idea how, how much I wanted to do more things for Lord of the Rings. I just couldn't afford it, man. Because New Line's cheap. They gave me a 9 minute budget. Which you gave me an unlimited budget. I don't have to worry about running out of money. Yeah. Yo, I mean, for the war. For, for the excess of surface, when Tactius leaves with his 5,000 extras, we can easily afford to hire 5,000 extras, yes. And that's like something unheard of for my movie. Something like Moses. They all enter the, the Devil Bats territory in the mountains, obviously. Look at an amazing movie. Remember that picture I posted? Yeah, a beautiful war like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the war, I can easily have a 25,000 wolf army and a 50,000 zany army. I can easily hire 25,000 extras and 50,000 extras. It'll, it'll cost me... The war will probably take maybe a good week to film... It'll only cost me maybe 10, 12 million bucks for that. Because I have a 35 million budget, I can easily afford it. I gave Peter on the budget, hence why he'll have that smile on his face. Because I gave him an unlimited budget. And every director's dream is to have an unlimited budget like that, but they don't have that in Hollywood. Hollywood gives them big budgets, but they're not unlimited budgets like my movies, you know I'm saying? Even James Cameron would be like, oh man, I wish I could direct Ivan's movie. I even gave Peter an unlimited budget and he signed him to a massive final engineer deal. Because I don't, I don't, I'm not making that money in Hollywood. I'm a dirty slave. I'm making way less money. Hollywood's feeding me shittier food. They only gave me like a three fifth of my budget for Avatar. So unheard of world building, obviously, but it's nothing like my movie. My movie is like a revolutionization of technology. And you also have the 4K Blu ray effect going with that, man. That's why Zane's looking at like an 8K world. Piers like, Ivan, you have no idea how top notch your movie will be once the final product is finished, obviously. You have no idea how top notch it'll be, Ivan. You not only have your blade and dark technology going towards your movie. You also have your 4K Blu-ray effect. So if you sell it on 4K Blu-ray, you're looking at an unheard of experience. Like an 8K world, yeah. This 4K Blu-ray is top-notch. I watched Transformers Age of Extinction a couple weeks ago on Blu-ray, and I had an amazing experience at home. And I watched Transformers 2 on DVD. It was a good experience, but it was, it was a little dated. DVD is a bit dated. Whereas because I'm used to watching Blu-ray now, it's much better than DVD, obviously. 4K is even better than Blu-ray. It's an unheard of experience, unheard of vision, unheard of sound. You put money into a theater system, look at an unheard of experience at home. That's why I recommend you guys put money into a theater system, all you people around the world. If you can't afford it, you don't have to get a theater system. You'll still get a good experience. If you want to get that theatrical experience, of boom, 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 the boom, the nice theatrical experience in your house, put money into a theater system. That way you get a good theatrical experience at home. If you want, to, if you want your room to go dark, you're going to have to put money into lighting, obviously. But that's expensive. If you can't afford that, just get the theater system that's good enough. You watch it during the day, you'll still get a good experience. But it's much cooler when you watch it when the lights dim and all that stuff. But to do that, you have to pimp out your house. You have to put, yeah, it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars to do. Maybe two grand to do that. They can, they, you, can, you can do a thing where you put these blinds, you have these blinds in your in the window that makes your house go dark if you want. But that'll cost you more money. If you can't afford it, don't do it. I recommend you don't do it. If, for the rich out there who can afford it, you could, I recommend you do that, obviously. Put money into like a lighting when, when your basement goes dark. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, you get a good experience when you watch the movie. Eric Dalton said, so look at an amazing movie, yeah, man. Hence why I don't want to release it online, because online is out, is not Blu-ray, it's 1080p. You'll still get a good experience, but not the same thing. It's not the same thing as Blu-ray, man. Blue, 4K Blu-ray is much better than 1080p online. The only good thing about online streaming is you don't have to, I don't have to worry about distribution. People just go on my website, they pay. I even will it be like Netflix. No, I'm not gonna have a subscription service. There's no point of having a subscription service for one movie. No. You just have you have this, you have the, 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 the you have the link and you have to pay to watch it like YouTube, something like YouTube. But it's very unprofessional. I'd rather I you, yeah, I, I'd rather own my own nice like 4K Blu-ray box set with all the all your act you and the actors feature in there. Have my nice disc, my nice 4K Blu-ray disc that smell nice. You know what I'm saying? And get the nice 4K Blu-ray experience. Yes, you get the copyright. You, the, the, you see the you see the play menu. You click play. You get the copyright. You get you see the Sky Sports Entertainment uh, 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 intro and the movie starts. You get a good experience. Yeah, I don't want to do it. That's my copy will blow out of the water. Yeah, man. The only better thing about Hollywood is that it's in the public eye. It's in the public eye, obviously. It's in the public eye, obviously, and you get to see the theaters. You get to see the movies at the theaters. Obviously, it's a cool experience at the theaters. But the technology is not as good as 4K Blu-ray at home with the actual with the, with, the, with the home theatrical experience. You see what I'm saying? That's my coming blow out of the water, yeah, man. And all the Hollywood actors and Peter Jackson get a free copy of the merch, free copy of the 4K Blu-ray boxes, and they get they get them they get a free they get free merch. And me and Visa will cover the costs, obviously, through the budget. So let Amazon know, okay, send all the crewmen and all the actors a free copy of the 4K Blu-ray discs, a 4K Blu-ray set. And a free copy of and a free merch. The posters, they get the framed ones. Give them the framed ones. They get the framed ones and they get their nice mugs and get their Joe pipe, whatever it is. Their nice ale mugs for the merch. So Peter and all the actors, they can whenever my movie gets whenever my movie rises in the mail, they can get their ale mugs, pour beer in there, drink the ale mugs, and enjoy enjoy my movie with with, 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 with the beer and the and food. And they enjoy the they enjoy the movie, obviously. That's what comes with blow out of the water, yeah man. And that's why Zanes will be the best story told the most of the show. Have crazy web eyes. Right? To complete this video here, once the concert arts are finished, Peter will tell me, Ivan, this movie will have crazy web eye buzz. Never have I seen anything like this. You're looking at Unheard of Warbling, Brother Pandora. Eretz and them are going to make my beings in, in Lord of the Rings look good, Ivan. The world's going to feel for you and your men. They might even cry for you and the men. You're looking at demons and devils, Ivan. Yeah, you know, Ivan, I see what you're saying. If you have Eretz and the devils, it creates a more powerful story. Yes, I know what I'm doing. If you have Eretz and the devils, it creates a more powerful story. You're looking at the most horrific movie in history, and me and all the actors are going to be going against those demons, man. That's why we're looking at the best story of the whole Muslim Yeah, man. Those actors are lucky, obviously. Anyway, that's it for this video. So I'm Ram signing up. Peace.